There are many kind people in Singapore, said Dignity Kitchen founder Ko Seng Chun, who has reached his fundraising target of $200,000 for the restoration works of his social enterprise. The fire, that ravaged his 10,600-square-foot premises at 69 Boon King Road in the wee hours of the morning on February 13, opened his eyes to the generosity of ordinary Singaporeans. Police investigations are still ongoing. Dignity Kitchen is run by Project Dignity, a social enterprise founded in 2010 to create jobs for people with disabilities. Its Singapore branch comprises a food court open to the public, a culinary training centre, social outreach programmes and second-hand book stalls. Restoration Works, which will start on April 1st, will cost over $100,000 and take about two to three months. The contractors will focus on the roof, air conditioners, web server and training centre, which suffered the most damage. The food court, which has seven stalls manned by the differently able and disadvantaged, is intact and resumed operations on February 19. Training makes up 30% to 40% of Project Dignity's total business revenue, Mr. Ko, 65, told The Straits Times. It will mean a revenue loss of about $600.000 during this period. The social enterprise is still in discussion with its insurer on a payout. Apart from receiving donations, Dignity Kitchen also did fundraising on crowdfunding platform Give Asia. A total of 1,381 donors have come forward to show their support, with the smallest amount of $10 coming from a 10-year-old boy. Barclays Bank, the biggest donor, gave a five-figure sum. Some donors were from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan and India. A local man said he was donating part of his inheritance to support the cause. A group of old boys from St. Joseph's Institution gave about $2.000, and the Rotary Club of Pandan Valley, on March 22, handed over a cheque for $3,155 raised by 35 members. Miss Elsie Chua, past president of the club, said they were touched by Dignity Kitchen's mission to restore dignity to the differently able and disadvantaged by creating job opportunities for them. Some of Dignity Kitchen's staff parted quietly with their salaries, while three of the enterprise's beneficiaries donated amounts of $20 to $50. They were recipients of Dignity Kitchen's free box meals which are given to 90 low-wage workers for dinner from Monday to Friday. One of them was a woman in her 80s who fished out $20 from her purse. Mr. Cole said he was almost moved to tears by her gesture. I saw only a few notes in her purse, $20 is like $200 to her. I told her I could not accept her donation, he added. She insisted and dropped the money into a paid-forward box before telling him in Hokkien, you have been giving us a meal unconditionally over the years. Kindness begets kindness, said Mr. Ko. It has been a humbling experience, and I didn't know the reputation of Dignity Kitchen has been so impactful. Any savings from the donations will be channeled to his charitable causes including funding the meal service, which costs $450 daily, and sponsoring disabled students for its courses. The money will also help to fund Mr. Ko's new initiative, Dignity Kitchenette, which will be launched at Yayo Chu Kong Bus Interchange on May 20. The food stall, selling bento boxes and drinks, will hire 20 dementia and cancer recovery patients who will be rotated on four-hour shifts weekly. Mr. Ko, who has a Dignity Kitchen branch in Hong Kong, hopes to have at least two more stalls selling bento boxes in Singapore by the end of 2024. He will also launch the same concept in Hong Kong from June.
starting with a stall at Albion Plaza in Tsim Sha Sui and another at the Chinese University Medical Center in Shotin. These are the people who do not get government grants, he said. We will train them for a period of 22 days to 10 weeks in areas like food handling and basic food hygiene before they start their new job.